Hello Yankees fans subscribe so you don't miss any Yankees update this winter window. Yankees free agent potential target, Matt Strom. Looking at one of the most interesting bargains possible in free agency. Matt Strom may be the least sexy name to appear in a headline with the words potential Yankees target this offseason. He might still be worth a call. Pitchers like him certainly don't make or break a championship season, but they could be important to you getting there in one piece. Not signed by San Diego last offseason, after an injury plague 2021 saw him allow 15 hits and 6 runs in just 6.2 innings, Strom signed with the Red Sox for $3 million in 2022. He rewarded them with a 3.83 ERA in 50 appearances, covering 44.2 innings, and is now reportedly looking for an opportunity to start wherever he lands in free agency. However, it is questionable whether this initial opportunity actually materializes or not. Strom has only once started more than five games in a season, as he did 16 times in 2019, and has only had a single start since then, averaging less than an inning per game. Unless he really wants to stake himself with a minor league contract or no guaranteed opportunity, a more realistic role is likely as a swingman or multi-inning reliever who can start on the spot in a pinch. Think of Nick Martinez's role in San Diego, or how the Dodgers used Ross Stripling during his time in L.A. The Yankees could use such a swingman, especially if they finally decide to let Clark Schmidt take one more chance in the rotation. By no means does the replacement for Aroldis Chapman or Zach Britton have to be a left-hander. The Astros just won the World Series with the fewest left-handed bullpen innings in recent memory, but left-handed shooting depth is pretty slim behind Juani Peralta and Lucas Luege. And even though it's as likely as not that the team's pitching development will see an as-yet-unreleased minor league southpaw turn up in something nasty next spring, the dearth of entries in the rotation as it's currently slotted means that someone interesting with at least a little experience in big league innings is a good roster filler. Strom is interesting. There's nothing super notable about a top three ERA in less than 50 innings, but it was enough to show the kind of skill a smart team can utilize. His four ship has shown more life in 2022 than he has in half a decade, averaging a touch of 94 miles per hour after spending most of his career bouncing around the 91 to 93 range. More importantly, it was a real weapon for the first time, earning a 0.215 XWOBA rate and 23% in the zone, light years better than anything it had done before. Here's a modest 92 miles per hour warmer against the black hole that was Chris Davis at the end of his career in 2019. And here's one that reached 96 miles per hour in the same stadium last season. We don't have time for a full blown meltdown, but there are some things going on here. The simplest factor is the release point. It's not super visible in the video but Strom has increased it several inches since 2019 while also increasing his length by roughly the same amount. The mechanical tweaks that account for the change are subtle but still noticeable. The most obvious change is that Strom now starts his stretch in a much more athletic position than he did in his last full season, putting a significant amount of flex in his knees and hips after going nearly straight in 2019. Subsequently, he achieves a much deeper hip hinge when he shifts the weight back to start the delivery, which gives the front leg more room to swing freely and act as a counterweight before planting. This, in turn, allows Strom to hold his torso back until he is ready to pivot onto his front leg, taking the ball Yankees with him. Yankees fans, leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates this winter season and help us reach 1,000 subscribers. We're very close. Yankees help Yankees. The pitcher who throws 96 miles per hour looks much more explosive and athletic than the one who throws 92 miles per hour, simply because it's a smooth, well-executed move rather than a bunch of jagged parts thrown together. This not only adds speed to the warmer, it also gives him a few extra inches of lift, more than Strom has ever seen in his career. As his arm slot advanced upwards, his fastball's direction of rotation straightened out by about 30 degrees, 
which is enough to create a not insignificant amount of extra charging when you spin the ball just as efficiently. Of Strom, 97% in 2022. Combining that with the extra extension was enough to make his fastball's vertical approach angle flatter than before. In short, while an XWOBA of 0.215 is difficult to repeat, it doesn't seem like a total fluke either. Strom supplements this fastball with four other pitches, none of which are very notable on their own, but do have some uncharacteristic characteristics that might be interesting for a team like the Yankees. His primary secondary pitch is a slider, 21% usage in 2022, that generates a healthy amount of offset mat at the seam and has the flattest VAA of any left-handed slider in the game that doesn't come from a side armor. He plays with a curveball, 17%, that's also exceptionally flat and heavy, though he probably doesn't yet have the fastball life to enjoy that shot the way Jesus Luzardo and Julio Urias do. Finally, Strom also has a sinker, 14.5%, that was modestly successful and bears a slight resemblance to the one thrown by Wandy Peralta, and a change, 9.5%, with a ton of sidearm fade. At the very least, there's enough to work with that it seems like a smart team should be able to find a consistently better-than-average pitcher somewhere in there. Strom may not have the desire to join a starting rotation, but it sure looks like his 2022 improvements were by design rather than luck in the toss. He can probably make a few starts for a competitive team, and if he's willing to abandon any full-time starting aspirations for a role that could involve anywhere from 60 to 100 innings of multi-inning relief and immediate starts, the Yankees must to come. Turn on! The combination of what appears to be genuinely redone with essentially no other recent track record makes Strom a rare chance to acquire a chunk of league average or better innings for virtually nothing, in baseball terms. For a team with so much fortune tied to high-paying veterans, finding good value at the bottom of the roster should continue to be a priority. In my opinion, Matt Strom is another one who needs T.O. be well-trained T.O. gradually increase his numbers and that we can ensure that we have good coaches. What is missing is opportunity and with these values it could be a good bet. And in your opinion, Yankees fan? Should I hire Matt Strom for 2023? Leave your opinion in the comments. And in order not to miss the daily notifications from the New York Yankees, subscribe and activate the bell and stay on top of all updates.